We have the control knob and the on off switch for the spotlight. Right here, you have your running lights, which includes your bow light, your instrument lights, and your mass light back at the transom. Right here, this switch is your bilge pump manual override. We have a horn in the center of the steering wheel. We have a key switch, which is ignition on only. It does not crank. You have to go over here to this button on the far right hand side, and that is your crank button. You can hear it will crank the engine, and that's how you'll start it. Always make sure to kick your key back off. In between the two, you have a bilge blower. Obviously, it's a good idea to turn that on before you fire it off. And then this is your throttle. This is slow. This is fast. That's back to idle. You have a transmission shifter with a detent mechanism to give it a positive lock for use with the new engine. This is neutral. This is reverse. Back to neutral. Forward. Pretty easy to do. Pretty seamless. Make sure that you are in neutral before you go to start it, although it will not start in any gear but neutral. If you all are looking to put dollies on this boat, you want to find a spot where there's a frame. You can see right here all these bones in a row indicate that there's a frame. If we were putting dollies on this boat here, we would probably use this frame right here. It supports the front of the boat, gets back a little bit on the flatter part of the bottom, just, to, just back of the V. And this is a great place to put a dolly. You want to center your pad and your dolly somewhere on this frame like to have the dollies out far enough to where they're somewhat near the stringers, but the frames really are what supports this boat. Go into the back. We would probably support it at either this frame right here or this frame right here, and we would probably use this frame for clearance for the prop, strut, prop shaft, and all that stuff. But this is, we would support it at this frame and the frame just behind the windshield.